Hello, how's it going guys? It's Nathan here and happy Friday to all my friends, family, co-workers, viewers out there. Hope you guys have a swell day. And today we'll be looking at another robot vacuum. Actually, this is something different. We're gonna actually look at a robot vacuum with modifications. Yes, this guy from Germany reached out to me. He emailed me, he's like, hey Nathan, how's it going? Well, I got something cool. I took my L10S docking station and modified it. I'm like, all right, I'm intrigued by now. Let's go and check out what he did. Well, what he ended up doing was taking a fresh water tank, the dirty water tank, he allowed the robot to be able to auto refill this tank. Yes, now no longer have to refill this water tank by hand. And with the dirty water tank, since there's no sensor, it may overflow with dirty water. He actually puts a vacuum system where it empties out this dirty water tank once, you know, it starts to get full. So this is a pretty cool modification. So let's go and see how he did this. Okay, let me just kind of talk about what you saw in that short video clip. Uh, basically, what this does is it auto empties the dirty water tank as it refills the fresh water tank. You may notice that there's like a little ball or a check valve that once it rises up, it actually shut off the fresh water um, inlet so it doesn't overfill this tank. Now, the self emptying process is the same. I don't think he did anything different with it, so it washes the mopping pad. And also the self-emptying system that uses a bag right here, which I'll show you. He hasn't touched that. So I'm pretty sure down the road he will figure out a way so you don't have to use his bag. You just maybe put a shop back, hook up a hose to it or something. But I think it's pretty cool how he was able to uh, prevent someone from having to manually fill up this water tank and then over time once this fills up, empty it out. Hi. Check out his channel, I'll put it down in the link below. It's a fairly new channel. I think he only has one video, so he's just starting out. So if you guys can help him out, that'd be great. Check out the video. But let's go ahead and uh, see. Uh, he's from Germany. Uh, basically, he says, hello to US from Germany. I look since longer time your videos in cleaning bots. I have built a fully automatic cleaning station. Works 100%. A little bit proud. Well, good job. Definitely beyond what I could do. I literally just stare at it and hopefully it does something. All right, so let's kind of show you how his process works. We we'll talk about the internals here. This is the back side of the unit. Now, there's a couple things I recognize right off the bat. This is your circuit board. This is the main controller that Dreamy Tech has. I don't think he changed anything of that. Uh, down below is the fan unit to suck out the dirt from the robot vacuum. And one thing I kind of question is this little sickle thing. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's a transformer. Uh, it looks like there's some wires going to it. Or maybe it's a motor, I'm not sure. But you can see there's some hoses for the fresh water and also the dirty water. And you can see this is the chute for the uh, dust right here. As you can you may notice, there's some wires he implemented. Uh, he's still working on this project. Uh, you can see some wires right there which will tie into additional uh, couple pumps so it can fill the water tank and discharge the dirty uh, water. Okay, so he kind of showed how he took this thing apart. Uh, if you are planning on taking one of these rubber vacuums apart, you, there might be some uh, screws underneath the rubber feet, so just be mindful of that. Uh, look for all the screws, don't try to link out the components or you might strip out the screws. And here's just a side view of it. There's his work right there. He implemented a, uh, I think, what is this, a transformer? Maybe maybe that's a, or a relay. I think that's a relay. Uh, let's kind of look over here. Another side of what he did. Pretty cool how he kind of inlaid his own wiring with the existing wiring. Okay, let's just go and go back here. Anything else to kind of show you? And then he kind of drilled some additional he holes. He actually took uh, the side here. I'll show you. Can you guys see that? There's like going to be a hose. So I believe this is for the dirty water tank um, where it can actually suck out the contents. 
into like maybe a uh, separate bin or something. I'm not sure where the uh, water goes, but hopefully it just goes into a uh, sewer drain or something. Uh, he didn't tell me about that. That's pretty cool. Let's kind of scroll over. All right, so this looks like this is the fresh water tank, uh, which he installed in the back. It's like a hose he's kind of drilled right there. That's kind of cool. And there's actually something like some switches. So these look like just like inputs, uh, power sources. So you got the waste top and a 12 volt uh, pump right there. So it looks like it takes two additional power supplies. That's kind of neat. All right, so this is his setup. Again, this is in Germany. So it knows the power plugs are a little bit different from if you're in the US. Uh, let's see, let's go and look closely here. Uh, this looks like a, uh, uh, maybe a solenoid, a pump or something. I think this might be a water pump. I'm sorry, this looks like a water pump, a 12 volt pump right there. And this is just maybe a uh, wall or cable management holder. It doesn't look like it does anything. And look at that, guys. Remember that? That's the Xiaomi, I believe, the X1. Pretty cool robot with that sonar sensor. The positive negative. And this goes into, I think, the 12 volt pump. So whenever uh, this thing activates the cleaning process, I believe it kicks off the fresh water pump. And it also kicks off the dirty water tank to ex discharge the contents. This is the discharge hose. Um, we can see some work there, some wires. Uh, the 12 volt adapters down there. So pretty cool. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty interesting what he did. Kind of slide over. You guys can get a closer look at this. This is the fresh water hose. It kind of goes in the back there. And you can see that dirty water hose right there. All right, some more pictures. Pretty cool. So these are the uh, 12 volt power supplies. Let's see what he did here. So it looks like this is just another shot of what he integrated in and this is looks like the wires he used for the pumps and everything running it's kind of hard to see but it looks like there's two uh manual sh or mechanical shutoff valves and once the fresh water is auto refilling it will actually dump out the dirty water tank as well so when he moves over to the right here you actually see there's like a little uh, bob it's a mechanical switch that will detect when the fresh water tank is full and shut off the 12 volt pump here. So that's actually pretty neat. This guy definitely uh, knows his stuff. Uh, I hope companies see this and actually kind of start integrating a, a solution so you don't have to uh, manually refill the water tank or empty out the dirty water tank. Yeah. And if you guys read Germany, if you check out his channel, it's in German, uh, you can uh, read what he says. Hats off to you guys, uh, that's pretty awesome. Thank you so much for sending me that email. It made my day. I thought that was a really cool integration. And for watching, I will have some new who are vacuums on this channel shortly. I'm working with some companies, just taking a little bit longer. It seemed like 2023, just from the start, it's a little slow, but trust me, I got some new robot vacuums coming. All right, have a good rest of the day. Be safe out there. See you next time and stick around. All right, adios.